Good afternoon, welcome to Fishing for Bees. This is my YouTube channel on swarm catching and beekeeping. If you're new to the channel, a little bit about us is we've never purchased bees, we've never split a colony, when we've never bought a queen. I'm not against any of those things, we just simply haven't had to. The swarm catches every spring and summer uh, replenish the minimal losses we have during the winter, so I'm able to come into spring and immediately start collecting honey instead of splitting and I really enjoy that. So in the past we've had so many bees because I only want eight in this yard. Yeah, I know there's only six. We had some problems this year that our other yard, our nuke yard where the swarm catches are, I've given away 10 frame colonies once I establish this to eight colonies. I'll do another video on it sometime maybe on why I only want eight. Put it to you this way, bees are a lot of work. Um, so anyways, we're just going to do a quick video today on robbing and um, mouse guards as such as these are kind of a little bit open in what you can do. So you need to be planning for robbing season even though it's not going on. This is robbing season. This is October 22nd, it's 70 degrees and it's beautiful out. There's nothing for them to forage on. So they're going to cherry pick what they can and sometimes that means the colony next door. So you have to plan as if robbing is already happening certain times of the season, during a dearth, a late fall, early fall, whatever you want to call it, going into winter. You know, when there's not resources in the environment, they are going to continue to look for resources and they are going to pick on the weak. There's no other way to really look. I put the mouse guards on, obviously, to deter the mice from getting in, but then it shortens um, to about one fifth the opening. And then today I came and everything's fine. Everybody's getting along really, really well. But I'm seeing on Facebook a lot of problems, especially in Michigan, with robbing and stuff like that. And it's, it's the same thing year after year. They don't realize it's robbing season and they're not monitoring their bees and then they come back two weeks later and their bees are gone. So these rocks are not blocking the entrance. What they're doing is they're deflecting a direct flight in. The bees that live there will get used to it. The bees that don't live there don't understand it. So they'll not know exactly where the entrance is and they won't have a direct flight in. That elimination of the direct flight in during robbing season is crucial in my opinion. I don't purchase robbing guards or you know any of that kind of stuff. There's a lot of stuff you can do for yourself. If this was really, really bad and one of these were getting robbed, I would stack multiple rocks. I would stack multiple sticks. Two lanes of traffic if they're getting robbed, right? One bee going in, one bee going out. Severe cases, one lane of traffic is all you need. That's all you need. You just need to let bees in and out and you need to make that area small enough that they can defend it. If they can't defend it, they're going to get picked on, then the other colonies are going to realize that this is easy pickings and there's going to be even more attacks and eventually the bees are going to abscond. That's why people are coming to the colonies and their bees are gone. And the colonies robbed out obviously and bone dry. So the bees will leave before it's bone dry, but once they leave and there's no one left to defend, then it's a free for all and they're just going to pick it dry and you're going to end up with a, with a dead colony. So a lot of these are really strong, but I still put a rock in front of them. And there's other things, as I said, you can do with sticks and twigs and you can get creative. I've seen some awesome things where people bend a mesh screen um, in a half cylinder and then, you know, put it to the front of the county where they have to go down. What you'll see in the robbing is the bees that are robbing are attracted to the smell. That's why a lot of it's happening at the, at the top here and at other gaps or whatever. So when you see the frantic activity, this is, this is normal activity right here. When you see the frantic activity, it looks like they're swarming in the fall and stuff like that. It's really easy to actually determine robbing. A lot of people post on Facebook, what's going on with my colony? It's clearly robbing. There's a ball of bees in this area where there's no entrance, but there's a gap and the smell of honey's coming out. Obviously, honey's usually at the top too. There's massive activity at the entrance. Get close, there's fighting. They're ripping the wings off, they're biting the antennas off, they're ripping the legs off, and then the yellow jackets come in and you got even more fun. So back to the Stone Ages. It is robbing season, especially here in Michigan. Be careful. Quick short video. Thanks for coming along. I hope your bees are well. <laughs> 